everybody? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez, bitch. The one, the only, Bird motherfucking Martinez, bitch. Ya se me olvidó. Este, what's up everybody? So, my birthday went. Ya pasó. It was yesterday and it was amazing, like always. I was just like, bitch, um, two years ago, everybody came over and we made tamales and there was full house. But yesterday, I think because it was cold. And uh, my mom was working. I mean, I was still I still went to go see my mom. My sister came to visit me before she went to work because she works in the night. I mean, that's what matters to me. I don't fucking care. And then, um, I don't even care about presents. But my Mario got me a phone. I don't remember what phone he got me. He got me the phone with the three dots, the three little cameras. So yeah, that's what it is. But anyways, motherfuckers, today, um. I'm gonna make. Why well, made? I already made this recipe before, but um, Kelly Quintanilla tagged me on Facebook, and I was like, "Bitch, I gotta make that." So it's birria, right? Birria. So for the birria, I'm gonna use a trozo, um, trozo de diez mil. It's bone-in beef chuck steak. This time, last time I made it without the bone. So this time, I'm gonna make it with the bone because the bone always has the most flavor, motherfuckers. So yeah, I'm gonna use it with the bone. And if I look like a tweaker, it's because this is Mario's shirt. And every time I use um, loose clothes, is um, I look more skinnier than I actually am. That's why I like to use like t-shirts and really like small shorts or tight pants or whatever leggings. Because our, right now I'm wearing like big ass shorts because I'm just comfortable. Anyways, of this motherfucker, I use almost seven pounds, 6.7 pounds. And for the noodles, in the recipe it says, well I didn't see that, there's no recipe, the, it was like this guy, and it looks like in, in LA, and he's using Raymond, it says Raymond noodles with birria. So maybe I'm gonna use these, but I'm not gonna use a little flavor. And I also got these, Oriental style, style noodles. So I'm gonna try to see with both of them to see which one's better. And then for the chiles, of course my little horse, we are gonna use chile guajillo. I got two bags, but I'll see. I'll tell you guys how much I used. And then we're gonna use chile, chile pasilla, chile ancho. It has two names. It says pasilla, chile ancho. That's the main ones that you need for uh, birria, or the ones that I use. Um, they look like this. They're the ones with the little wrinkles. See, bitch. See. And then today I'm not using a tripod because um. My new phone doesn't fit on the damn thing. Well, I, need, I just need to get my shit together. But anyways, I'm still trying to make a video for you motherfuckers. Because I know you guys love me, bitch. And I love you guys. I got so many fucking um, happy wishes, happy birthday wishes on my Instagram, on my Snapchat. I was like, damn, bitch, these motherfuckers like me. I don't, I felt special. I, I mean, I don't really have a lot of friends. I'm mostly by myself with my kids. So it really means a lot to me that people take their time just to say fucking happy birthday and you know they're like I love you and thank you for the video and I'm just like bitch you make me cry like for real that means the world to me. Anyways, um, for the spices we are gonna use a lot of shit, bitch. So let's get it. We are together. using two sticks de canela, cinnamon sticks. We're gonna use some sesame seeds, oregano, cumin. It's the black peppercorns, like that much. So see, this is how I measure my shit. I, like I get like a pinch and I go like this, right? So that's, I don't know, that's what I do. I'm gonna use two garlic cloves, some chocolate de la abuelita. This is how it looks, the chocolate de abuelita. And I'm gonna use four laurel leaves and some motherfucking onion. And of course, my little horse, we are gonna use um, two tablespoons of um, chicken flavor bouillon. Is that what you call it? Bouillon, motherfuckers. So let this, let's get this motherfucker started. I'm gonna get my pot right now and let's go. Today, Mandy's gonna be my tripod because the other one doesn't work. So I'm gonna cut my meat like little pieces because I want them to cook fast. So if you want to cut them in big ass pieces, just know that it's gonna take longer because this meat is como you know, like hard. Not hard. I don't know how the fuck to call it, but it's gonna take a while to cook. So that's why. I'm cutting them a little smaller just in case and then these this too i think it's like muscle or some shit i don't know what the fuck it is but bitch it needs to cook right so yeah 
this fucking knife is not even thin and feel. I'm gonna fucking kill it. And always remember to wash your sink before and wash your sink after. Because I know motherfuckers be like, oh, don't be washing your food in the sink. But yes, you know what? It is a thing. You could do it. But yes, you do have to wash it before and you have to wash it after. Because it is me. You know, and sometimes it's thick on the way you put chicken and shit, pollo, it cross, como se dice, cross contaminate. Yeah. And you don't want that shit because then they're going to have chorro for days. Food poisoning and shit. That's why I only pr scratch my ass after I'm done eating. You know what I'm saying? Because you scratch yourself during the cooking process. I feel bad for your family, bitch. But anyways, cut, motherfucker. So, I added some white vinegar and water so it could start, you know, getting clean and shit. So that's what I do. That's what I does, motherfucker. Oh, look at the reflection of the curtain. So yeah, I just leave it there for like 10 minutes. Nomás para que se limpie, you know. So start, it also it helps to get tender también. So now I'm going to start cleaning the cheetahs. I hate the loud ass bags. Why do they have to make that bag out of that material? Like, why is it so fucking loud? Look, even if, like, let's say one day, one day you're trying to be sneaky and shit. And like, so loud and annoying. I also hate, um, I hate when people chew. I'm just so weird. But you know what? It's a thing. When, um, when I, when I was, we went to watch the movie Queen, Queen and Slim. Oh my God, you guys need to watch that. It's a little long, but you know what? I think they made it long because since they were traveling from, um, from one place to another place. They were showing the cities and I like that. I like that shit. But anyways, one of the things the girl didn't like of the guy is the way he chewed. Because when he ate, he was like, wah, 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 like that, right? Like, nom, 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 eating and shit. And um, she's like, that's not how you chew. And she was getting upset. And then it reminds me of me and Mario because I swear to God, that motherfucker. He's like, when he eats, he eat, eats. Like, he will focus only on his food and his food only. I remember when I had a crush on him, like, for six months, right? And one time, um, he was at the hometown buffet. He was there with his grandma, like a whole bunch of Mexicans, like his whole family. It was like fucking 20 people on one table. And I was just there with my mom. So I'm over here trying to look cute. I keep passing by and passing by and passing by. So he could notice me. That motherfucker didn't even blink. He was eating his food and, nom, 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 and eating and eating and eating all hard. And I was just like, damn, fool. Like, look at, look up. Or like, look at me passing by. No, he didn't give a fuck about me. And, um,. And I always tell him that. I'm like, you didn't even notice me. And he's like, it's because when I'm eating, I just focus on my food. And I'm like, you know what? I like that about you because a lot of boys, they be like eating or doing something, but they're always focused on bitches, you know? And Mario, he was not like that. He was focused on his food. And that's how I knew that he was the one. Porque no andaba de puto. There's so many putos in this world. But you know what? I never liked the type of, the player type. I always liked the shy guys. I think I went out with one cholo, but when he took me to his hood, somebody was like, hey, fool, where my money at? And he, like, ran, and the guy started shooting, and then he went to his house, and he got a machete. It was a whole fucking thing, and I was like, bitch, I am never going out with a cholo. Fuck to the no. Fuck to the no, no, no. Guess people think I'm a little cholita, but fuck no. I like my shy boys. I like my quiet boys. That's what I like. And also, we're going to... So I'm gonna use 20 of the chile guajillos and I'm gonna use, hey wait, 15 of the chile anchos. But you could use more, you could use less, use less. I just like my shit very like thick. But for this, I think I'm gonna add more water because this is gonna be like a sopa. So yeah. So I got Mandy here helping me because you know what? When you debain the damn chiles, it takes a while, but she uses a knife. And my ears all messed up because I just put it up. Fuck it. I was like, gotta do this, let's do this, let's go. And yes, I look like a crackhead because this shirt is Mario's shirt. So it's kind of big on me. But you know what? He doesn't wear it anymore because he says it's too tight on him. Pero it's loose on me. Pinche gordo. But we like him. He does not even fat, huh? He's always saying he's fat, but he's not even fat. He just feels that because he eats a lot. But that's his fault. <laughs> so yeah. The, the chiles anchos, they're kind of harder because they're like thick. The damn skin is thick. So just rip it off. It does, there's no fucking perfect way. Just rip that shit off like whatever, man. It's not, it's not that deep, bruh. In a little pot, I'm going to put some oil. 
And I'm gonna put it on low because this bitch is way too high. And then when you put the stuff in, it's gonna burn. So I'm gonna let it cool the fuck down. Cool down, bitch. Cool it, cool it down, motherfucker. Okay, so I put the chiles in there. Remember, on low, porque luego they're gonna start burning up and we don't want that. And right away, it starts smelling so fucking good, bitch. Trust me when I say that it smells amaze balls. I'm not lying, bitch. I'm not lying. So, yeah, I miss my fucking tripod, but I'm not. Just add everything in there. Let me hold it like this. Little by little. The oregano. The onion. The black peppercorns. Cumin. Even the sesame seeds. Everything in there. And we're gonna just remix it and shit. And yes, I missed the damn tripod. It makes life so much easier. I'm trying to cook with one hand. Record with the other. Chingue su madre. A toda madre un pinche. No. A toda madre un desmadre. I don't know. Forgot. Here you go, yo. Look right here. One tablespoon. Like that. If you see that it's kind of dry, just add a little bit of more oil. I know it seems like it's a lot, but this little thing squirts a little bit. So it's not like a lot, lot. Move it around. Make sure it doesn't burn because it's a bunch of shit. But it does smell good, bitch. Como quisiera. Okay, motherfucker, so now we're going to add one cup of water. There you go, yo. So I left it there for like five minutes on low. Just so it could simmer the fuck down. Or concentrate the fuck out. Or I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> so even though it's not a lot of meat. I'm going to use a big pot. Just so it could spread its wings. You know and cook. I don't like to cook in little pots. Because then I feel like the food doesn't. Um, ¿cómo se dice? Doesn't cook well. I used to always try to use little pots. Because I didn't want to wash it. And I was being lazy. But I've noticed that when I use bigger pots. It's better. Now I'm just going to. Season it with a little bit of salt. Not a little, not a lot, just a little bit because it already has a lot of flavor in the salsa. I'm gonna put my chiles on the blender and everything in there. Like so. Like so. Uh oh. Oh, oh, uh oh, oh. So, anyways, my dad has been calling me and calling me again. And I'm not answering. I'm just not ready. I'm not against him. I don't hate him, but bitch, I just don't want to hear. I don't want to hear it out of his mouth. Because my sister is the one that's telling me, oh, he wants you to send him money. Da -da 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 -da. And it's just going to hurt me. And I'm cool right now. I'm chilling. So I don't want to hear it out of his mouth. I don't even know how the fuck he would ask me. Es que no tiene vergüenza. I don't know. I would never ask a kid for that, for like money. You know what I'm saying? I know you're, especially if I didn't raise that kid. My dad didn't raise me. For my mom, yeah, I'll do anything. But my dad, I don't Look know. how beautiful it looks. Let me blow on that bitch. Oh my goodness. Look at all the colors, all the flavor, bitch. Blend it for like 10 straight minutes. And see, I already blended it and it's kind of like too thick. So I'm just going to add. I already had one cup of water when I put it in the pot. So I'm going to add another cup of water because I want it to be loosey, you know. Not Lucy like your pussy, but Lucy like um the neighbor's pussy. My extra cup of water that I put. <laughs> la la, look at that color, motherfuckers. And stay, yeah, this is what you want <clears throat> for it to be pluffy, to puff, pluffy, puffy, to have a good consistency. Y que la chingada. Also, you could use one of these motherfuckers right here if you don't want to blend it for 10 minutes like my crazy ass. But yeah, let's throw it in that motherfucker. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, mean, I think I need both of my hands, so excuse me, motherfuckers. Okay, ahí pa' que me miren. Since you guys like to look at me, look at my crackhead looking ass. It's them. So yeah, the reason my, my phone does not fit in my tripod is because this case that Mario got me is round. So when I stick it on my tripod, it likes, like, pushes it out. And Mario's like, well, we'll take off the case. And I'm like, bitch, it's a new phone. I am not going to fucking break my damn phone on the first fucking day. And he's like, oh, we have insurance. That's pendejo. Even if you pay insurance, even if you 
keep your insurance is they still charge you like two hundred dollars and then they don't even send you a brand new phone they send you like you know when you you return your phone and then they fix it they send you a fixed phone they don't send you a new phone i remember back in the day when when my phone used to get messed up um i would turn it into the insurance and they would send me like a brand new spanking fucking phone now they don't even send you like they send you like in a case like in a brown box like that's not a new phone bitch you lying we only went to the apple store and um baby mario broke his damn ipad he got insurance on it they gave us like a like a restored ipad i was all excited they said like oh we're just replace your ipad y cuando salen con su chingadera with a brown box i was like where's the white box so there's a lot of stuff in there so i'm gonna put some water and remix it so i don't throw away all the good stuff so i usually don't make mine this watery but i'm gonna make it into a sofa bitch i want more water the more water the better yeah yeah alguien tiene tos cover it and i'm gonna put it on high and i'm gonna keep an eye on it bitch so yesterday mario was like where do you want to eat da -da 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 -da. And I was like, well, I don't want to cook. I usually I usually cook myself some shrimp. Like, I think two years ago, I made myself some shrimp. It's on my Instagram, I think. I'm so fucking crazy. But anyways, it's them. I told, told them, can you take me to Olive Garden? And he's like, yeah. And then they were like margaritas for $5. I was like, damn, bitch, that's good. And um, I always just like to get the salad and soup and bread. That's that's all I need. Like, I don't even need anything else. But Mario's like, stop being cheap and da 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 so I got this right here, some pasta with some shrimp and I think spinach, and it's 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 good. It's just really filling. Like it filled me up with three bites. I know you guys are probably like really bitch, but it's not my fault. It's my panza's fault. Actually, it's my brain's fault because I trained my stomach to only eat the necessary you know when people that are like really fit bad fat that they need surgery that they make their stomachs little so even when they eat and they overeat they throw up that's me but i don't throw up i just stop eating because i already know my stomach tells me like bitch you're eating too much your stomach's gonna hurt and then you're not gonna be able to take a good shit and you're gonna start sweating but Mario, he doesn't give a fuck. I know his, he knows. He's like, I shouldn't be eating this much. But fuck it, I don't care. But that's the difference between me and him and people, you know? There's the people that eat and the people that eat, eat. Like Sophia, she just loves food. Like she could come to the fridge right now and she'll get all fucking creative. And I'm like, I've never met somebody that loves food that much like Sophia. But that's what I love about her. She's my little fat ass. And she doesn't care. She's like, I'm thick. I'm not fat. I'm thick. And she even started dancing when she eats. Like, I dance, but she loves, like, she loves that shit. And of course, my little horse, I'm going to make some rice on the side. Yes, Mexican rice, orange rice, red rice, Spanish rice, whatever the fuck motherfuckers want to call it. Um, And on the side, I'm going to make some pico de gallo with four serranos serranos and two of these motherfuckers right here they're red jalapeños i got them at the cucaracha la cucaracha la cucaracha yeah, no puede. and of course un limoncito with my onion because bitch you can't have some birria with without pico de gallo motherfuckers because i'm dreaming of you tonight till tomorrow Forgot to tell you guys a secret. You guys could use a crock pot or whatever the fuck they call them. Or a... Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Olla del vapor. But also, you could just get some aluminum foil. And cover all the little holes like that. And just close it. 
and it'll speed up the process. That's what I do. I mean, that's not like not a secret, but that's like what I do. Look at these jalapenos. Those are the red jalapenos I cut up. And here's my pico de gallo, nice and ready for that ass. Okay, so now I squeeze motherfuckers and get this motherfucker going. So after two hours, this is what it looks like. Yeah, you want it to be very, very well cooked. Um, so this one, we're just gonna eat it like this with the pico de gallo, but right now I'm gonna make the noodles. I'm so excited. So all the flavors in this bitch. So I'm gonna get two of these and put them in here. And I'm gonna put some meat. I'm gonna add some water. I'll tell you how many cups of water I'm gonna add. And I'll let you know. And I'm gonna cut the little pieces. So when I put it in my little remix, in my noodles, there's little pieces and it's not like a whole big chunk piece of meat. And see how easily they cut? Because they've been cooking for a long time, bitch. I say an hour and a half to, to two hours. So yeah. So I'm gonna add two cups. A water that's one bitch and see even if you add water it still keeps its fucking color because of all the ingredients that we put up in that motherfucker you know what I mean jelly motherfucking bitch. go with the second cup I win. I win. so I did give it a little tasty taste and you know what because of the water it lost a little bit of its flavor but it's okay because I got my handy dandy motherfucker right here. The chicken flavor. And so yeah. And I have a little bit of salt. But I don't know I'm going to add salt. Because this bitch has salt already. So I don't know I'm going to use the other bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I'm letting it boil a little bit. I'm going to add one tablespoon of the chicken flavored stuff. ¿Qué pasó papi? You're done? No more. You want more? Okay, that the boy mas. It's a cabron. When Big Mario's not home, he swears he owns me and shit. Like I'm his bitch. Big Mario, am I your bitch or am I your mom? Are you there? Am I your mommy? No? Yes, do you love me? Okay. Okay, so it's boiling up in this bitch. Now we're gonna throw the noodles in there. And there you go. Ahorita a ver como sale esta madre. su madre, I'm gonna add two. Porque you know what? I'm not the only one that's gonna wanna try this. Este, Mario just called me on the phone and he's like, make me some too, I'm excited. And I'm like, but you never like to try anything new. But I guess he's changing now. Cause he's all excited he's like i can't wait and i'm like really <laughs> you're gonna try it i guess i like when he gets excited for stuff because he usually likes the same food. i was gonna use these noodles but i want to save these for something bigger and better i'm still trying to figure out which um noodles i'm gonna use for the mongolian barbecue i have a picture i'll put it on my um snapchat and if anybody could tell me what those are called, I will really appreciate. It will be greatly appreciated because I need those noodles in my life. And these are ready, motherfuckers. Let me just turn this bitch off and get my plate ready. Woo! So here we go, yo. Okay, and um, I made this because somebody tagged me on my Facebook. It's from Cocinas B in Los Angeles. They're the ones that came up with this shit, and I'm just, you know, I'm like, damn, motherfucker, you really did something. So, here we go, yo. I love fucking noodles. Mmm. I don't know. Growing up, that's all I ate. Fucking noodles. You, you got me through fucking life, bruh. Like, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have. So, I was such a picky eater when I was a little kid. So, noodles was the go-to for me. Está bien caliente, güey. Bruh. Bruh. How is that even possible? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me get some meat. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm like, sh I'm shooketh. 
Oh my god, this is so fucking good. Did whoever ate this shit up, you deserve a fucking award. For real. Mmm. And then it warms up your butthole. Mmm. The birria with the noodles. Oh my god. You guys. You guys. You fucking guys. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Bruh, you guys really fucking. I know I, I said it like three times already, but damn! Even if you don't want to try the meat, you could just make the fucking the salsita and um and just drink like chicken broth, no like beef broth, birria broth or whatever, consomme, with just the noodles for all you people out there that don't eat meat. It's perfect. It's like fucking so much fucking flavor it's flavor up the ass i'm so glad i used these noodles instead of the other ones because i was just gonna use these because i i wanted to like get it right but since this is what i'm more familiar with this is what i grew up with always stick to your gut always stick to your fucking gut motherfuckers but anyways, I hope you guys like this recipe. And to all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers, I love you. Peace and love.